afternoon. God bless America and pray for snow. Amen. <laughs> Good to have you here today. Today we are dedicating this mural you are looking at. The mural is a dedication to all of our men and women who served in the military services and still do, to all the folks that put out our fires, to all the folks that answer the call of our emergencies, to all the folks that keep law and order in our land. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. Whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He loved, he gave. These men and women, after the pattern of God, they so loved this world, this nation, this town, that they gave, and they still give, and this day is for them. Amen. Amen. Terrorists have come into our land. They've turned airplanes into missiles. They've turned cars into bombs. They've turned workplaces and malls into killing fields. One thing they have never done nor had to do was put a gun to their heads or a knife to the throat of people and force them to come out and volunteer for our military or for our first responders in any fashion. You men and women do that because you love this nation, you love this place, to honor God, to follow his pattern and keep America free. There's not enough, not enough terrorists or knives or guns to keep our volunteers from stepping forward fighting for this great nation under God, and this day is for them. Amen? Amen. Dr. Ivy Shelton, would you come lead us in prayer? Well, it's good to see all of you here today. Um, as I was thinking about this event and praying over this event, there was a scripture that came to mind. Before I pray, I would just like to read it uh, to show our responsibility to always pray and lift up our first responders, uh, our officials, those that are, that are in authority, our military. Uh, but, but listen to this scripture that Paul wrote to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. He says, First of all, then, I urge you, the supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may live a quiet life and peaceful life. Um, that scripture, God just put that on my heart for this morning. Uh, we are to always be lifting up in prayer those who are volunteering, uh, those who are putting themselves in harm's way, those first responders. We are so thankful for our police force and for our firemen, for those who Amen. drive that ambulance and, and, and come to the aid of those who are, who are ill and suffering. And uh, so we just want to say thanks, and we want to start the day with the word of thanks. And then uh, as we do that, after we do that, then I'll lead us in the pledge. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Uh, thank you for just bringing us together as a community. Thank you for the peace that we have. Thank you that we can assemble together. And thank you that we can assemble together every Sunday and, and worship you. Thank you that we live in this great land. Lord, we don't want to take any of it for granted. And uh, we just love you and thank you for it. And God, today we just want to pause and uh, we just want to say thank you for our first responders. We want to thank you for our police force. We want to thank you for our, our sheriff and the, the deputies that, that help. We want to thank you for all the personnel involved there. We want to thank you for our, our, our firemen. We want to thank you for our paramedics those who drive that ambulance and, uh, and lifelike folks. And Lord, I know there's a host of others. We want to thank you for our, our military. Um, and I pray your protection over them. We thank you for those that you brought home safely. And Lord, we lift up those who have been brought home wounded. We lift up those families who have sacrificed and given loved ones on the battlefield. Lord, we want to pray for those that are on the battlefield right now. Lord, we also want to be faithful, even when we don't agree with some decisions. We want to be thankful for those who have been put in places of authority. Uh, we want to lift up our, our leaders locally and on the state level and, and uh, domestically on the national level. Lord, we just lift up our, our leaders, we lift up our president, we lift up our Congress, we lift up our, our judiciary. Uh, you know, I just pray for them. Lord, I pray that you would just work and move in their lives so they would make decisions that would be honoring to you, Lord God. I don't know this. So, Father, thank you again for this day. 
thank you for this mural behind me, that it is a reminder. Lord, as I go to work every morning, I see it. It's a reminder to keep, to keep lifting these folks up to you and to be thankful for them. Help us this day. Let us fellowship. And let us honor you in what we say and in what we do. And just make the fellowship sweet in Washington, Texas today. In Jesus' name, I pray it all. Amen. Amen. and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As you remain standing, Tory Wells will be singing our national anthem. Big sound from a little girl. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You may have a seat. This time we present to you the good mayor, Mr. Jesse Moore. I'd just like to welcome everybody out this morning. What better place could we find to start a 4th of July celebration? Right here in front of this mirror. Uh, appreciate Mr. Pleasure. Up and recognize all of our current service members, our veterans, our police, and fire department. I've got just a little bit I want to say. Uh, but after those two songs, as hot as it is, I still got chill bumps. I mean, it's just amazing. But here in Washington, uh, we have just finished the purchase of uh, the piece of property on the of the park. We're going to be putting in the community center there. Surely we'll be getting the uh, construction started, hopefully this year. We also bought another little piece of property off of the park. And we're going to turn into some additional parking for buses that have come through the spring and some of the kids. 
and uh, we're, we've got right now two point four million dollars worth of uh, water and sewer improvements that's going on right now in the city. If you just drive up Highway Eight a little bit, you can recognize that. Uh, and again, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate you being here. I hope everybody enjoys themselves. Thank you. Next year, Mayor Jesse Moore will sing the national anthem. <laughs> All right, folks, there's still a place where you can get hoop cheese, where you can get sassafras tea, and overalls in any size. And right now, we're going to welcome the owner of the T.C. Lindsay store, Miss Marty Vaughn. <laughs> Community, because three letters in the middle of that word are U and I. The letter U, the letter N, the letter I. And so much of what happens here or in any community depends on what you and I do together. Uh, this community has had a number of churches for many years, an active ministerial alliance. Our school system <coughs> has constantly improved. The city and the progress that it continues to make on behalf of the citizens and the persons who serve in fire, EMS, and law enforcement of all kinds, including our life air and helicopter crew that's been with us and part of this today. A number of community organizations like the newly organized Chamber, the Lions Club, the Masonic Hall, the Eastern Star, um, the Boys and Girls Clubs, the Youth Clubs, the Food Pantry, groups like Operation Help, um, our Education Foundation. Each of these entities has come into existence because persons saw the needs of this community and its citizens and have responded uh, to get involved in some way. Together we work, together we serve, we're building a stronger uh, community. And now we even have an online newsletter, wastempost.com. So if you haven't visited that website, please do so. And we have a thank you to all the businesses that have gotten and are considering getting involved with the Chamber. In the early days of our history, Highway 80 was not a, even a paved road. There were stagecoach roads that went through here. And then later, after the Civil War, the railroad relocated from Old Jonesville through Wascom towards, um, towards Shreveport. So the railroads have been an important part of our history. But the most important part are the persons that had visions, visions of looking at needs, looking at ways in which we, the citizens of, of the city and the surrounding area, could work together regardless of our race, creed, color, culture, gender, and address what the needs were for the citizens. To each person who has had a part in our past, we're grateful, and as we look to the future, as we stand on their shoulders, we look to the young people of this day to help us continue to build. Thank you again for all who have volunteered to help make this wonderful mural possible and to the city and to all the persons who volunteer and work to make this city and community a better place for all of us. Woo.